they have a professional singer that is recording that track. And they're probably singer, singing at a little bit of a higher range than what you probably would hear in your own church. I mean, again, if you take a home key that's played off the radio or MP3, try that same key in your church, you may have some that will follow you, but majority, depending on the age, if it's like, if your demographic is between 30 and 60, you're going to lose. If your demographic is between 20 and 30, you're probably going to win. So it really depends on you know, the, what the makeup looks like of your church. Um, Gonzalo, thanks so much for the big hug, she says in the comments. I appreciate that on Facebook Live. Thanks. And also, Cher, thanks for joining us there. Um, so again, I think it comes down to understanding your church, understanding how they can sing. I mean, here's the deal. You can teach your worship team all you want. You can show them great things. You can make them polished and everything, and that's awesome. We're to do great things and with excellence. But if it's in a key that seems to be unapproachable by the rest of the church, they're not going to be with you. All you'll have is great music. And that's great if that's, your, if that's the calling of your church. But if you are to edify the church and worship together, I mean, that's what we do, then you want to be with your church. I said this, to morning, on, uh, this morning on Snapchat, to sing with the church is to be the church, is to be one with the church. That's just, it's my opinion. Uh, it may be different in your church, and that's great. Um, so let's move on. So how then, if, the, if it's too high as a worship leader, what then do I do? You know, what do I do to help lower that key? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, I got the track loaded up right here. Again, shout out to Scott Hussey. He's been putting out all these tracks. You can visit what he does. Uh, our good friends over at guidetracks.co. Guidetracks.co. You'll find all the good stuff there. Uh, Scott's fantastic producer and arranger. He's given us this track today. And you can find the very track that I'm teaching on as well. Overwhelmed by Big Daddy Weave, writers Michael Weaver and Phil Wickham. Shout out to you guys and thanks so much for writing this fantastic song. And it fits right into our theme, Overwhelmed, that we've been doing all week. All right, so let's get right to it, shall we? So um, here's what I do. I want to talk about the original key. Now, the original key, we have this, and it's in the key of C. Now, again, like I said, just because you do the original key doesn't make you wrong. I'm just trying to address what happens if maybe your church cannot sing in that original key. What can you do to lower it? So again, I'm just putting the disclaimer out there because I've gotten some people already that have said, yeah, but we sing in the original key. Well, great. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying this is another way of doing things. Yeah, I mean, there are some hymns that are ancient, ancient, old, but if I did them in the original key, I mean, there's no way. I mean, you know, the voice, you know, my voice can only be stretched so high, right? All right, so let's talk about the chorus. In the original key of Overwhelmed, and if you're not familiar with the song, again, you can find it at guidetracks.co, Overwhelmed, Big Daddy Weave. It goes like this. Um, I delight myself in you Captivated by your mercy I'm overwhelmed I'm overwhelmed by you Now, for me, yes, I can sing in that key, but even for me, it's, it's a bit too high from a leading standpoint. The problem is, when I take that original key and I were to ask my females to, hey, can y'all sing with me? Uh, they're going to look at me like, no, you're crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Who is this guy? I'm not even with this team. I'm leaving. I mean, that's the response that you may get. Especially if I ask one of the females, hello, to lead the song, there's no way. There's no way in God's green earth. So what I would do is I would lower it by a third. Okay. But before I do that, let's talk about where this all comes from. How do you know if the song is too high? Uh, you guys had asked me that already over Snapchat, so I'm about to show you right now. Let's talk about the chorus in the original key. Okay. Now, again, I put out a lot of this already on the website. You can find that article, worshipteamtraining.com. Okay. So, we're in the key of C, right? And um, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. 
so it stays right in this um, spectrum right here, this, this range of sound. Um, I'm overwhelmed. So that's a high F, E, D. Overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. So that right there is a, is a little bit too powerful. And we want to make sure that, um, okay. Overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. So right there, that range is a D natural, E natural, F natural. Those three notes right there are making things a bit too high. So the normal voice, how and how do I, how do you, you know, find if the song is too high or not? Well, just a given range. I mean, for the general speaking voice and um, voice of the church, I mean, they sing from what we call either C, the shining C, or D to D, okay? So, na, 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 that's an E. So that begins to push that threshold a bit. So a good comfortable range is from the low D octave to the middle D octave here, and that would be for a male voice. If, if it's female, then of course it sounds an octave higher. It looks like the same note on paper, but it sounds a octave higher in the register. So from middle D to this high D here, okay. So um, I need, I think, I need to fix that. Actually, I misspoke. Um, the range for the tenor is middle D to the high D on the treble clef. Yeah. So right there. And so if if I take it above that D on the the D line of the treble clef, and if I go higher than that then it's pushing that threshold. And depending on some songs, even that range can be too high, especially if the notes stay in the higher D, E and F, and it stays right there throughout the whole song. That can just tire the voice out. It doesn't mean that you're wrong for singing those notes. Again, that's not what I'm saying. Um, if you're able to uh, move that note and it stays in that higher register the whole time, that tires up the voice. If it's just a few times throughout the song, no big deal. Uh, but you got to consider two things, key and range. A lot, of, a lot of people don't think about range, but again, key is where we set the song. That would be like the key of C. The range would be where the melody is. So in this chorus of overwhelmed, um, overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you, it, right there is the range between the D natural and the F natural, if you can see that right there. So that range is very narrow. So I pick the highest note. The highest note is F natural, okay? So because that F natural is very high, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the very top line of that treble clef, I want to bring it down a third. Maybe I want to make the D note to be this highest note. Okay, so follow me in just a second. So if the highest note is an F, and that's too high, I want to lower it by a third, by D natural. So if it's D natural is the highest note, if I moved it down a third, that means that the original key that was in the key of C, I want to move that down by a third as well. So now instead of in the key of C, we're going to be in the key of A. So I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by you, which is a little bit more comfortable, especially for women, right? Am I, am I speaking your language, ladies? Overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. So we sing the whole chorus again. Um, I delight myself in you, captivated by your mercy. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed by you. See, even for me, I can hit those notes with no problem. 